Um, but anyway, I don't have a whole lot to say about this match. It was fantastic. Both are so talented. We saw some really cool stuff from both of them. Like that one move from Grayson Waller that even like commentary was like, oh my God, I've never seen that before. Like, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> um, yeah. And I think the huge benefit of that and the reason why they probably chose Mello, at least one of the reasons, is because they have worked together so much during their time mm-hmm. in NXT. So it was bound to be a banger match. And I'm so glad that that's what happened. And I was actually kind of surprised that Mello won. Honestly. Oh, I wasn't. I, I, I knew I, Mello was good. I, I, I was just kind of surprised because... I think it's I think it's more so just because of his uh, involvement in like a big storyline in NXT right now. So that's why it was like, oh, to further him into the the tournament was like, oh, okay, like that was just kind of Mm -hmm. surprising. But I I'm interested in it and I'm glad, you know, I mean, I don't I wouldn't have an issue if Waller was. And I think obviously that plays into the whole Logan Paul aspect because he was saying Grayson Waller is my dude and Austin Theory is my guy. Like now they're both out. So it's like, okay. Now he has to feel he actually has to face off with people who he can't just be like, lay down on the mat and let me pin you, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think that that's that's one benefit to it, I think, for sure. That um, move that Waller did from mm-hmm. the middle rope Oops. was insane. No, I know. And I, I, I want to know what the name of it is because I don't even think they knew. It was you like know? A, yeah, it was like a dragon screw or corkscrew from the middle rope yeah. i need a name for it i think the only thing that they basically knew was that um it was a ddt type of thing like that was all that they could say like it was yeah. just like yeah uh, i don't know so and maybe that was the first time he's ever done it i don't know but uh still it was a cool move so um, then we move on to the second uh, U.S. title match or U.S. title tourney match, which was Austin Theory versus Kevin Owens. And uh, this was a long ass match, dude. I swear this was like time. a half hour. I, it they feels don't... like I, th- I swear to God, it was a half hour, which I'm not complaining, but I was just no. kind of surprised because uh, it's just a tournament match. Uh, and it's like, I mean, it's Kevin Owens. But I, I don't know. I was just like shocked at how many commercials there were. But it, it was it's more of a, a few, like a, a match, uh, a tournament match that had a blood feud already infused into it with Theory yeah. being the one who broke his hand. So it's, you know. No, it was Waller that broke his hand, I thought. It was Waller. No, Waller. No, it was in a match with Grayson Waller. Theory was at ringside and Theory stomped on the hand on the. I thought it was steps. when he hit. I don't know. I thought it was when he hit his hand, but um, no, he stomped on his hand on the steps, and like that's already substance enough where you can have just a regular tournament match like that go a little bit longer because there is some, uh, you know, bad blood between them already. I yeah. and I like that they're doing that now. You know, yeah. they're not just having these matches just to have them and oh they have some history so let's just put them in the match. No, they're bringing in their feud into the match itself. It's brilliant. Yeah. And I I was happy that this was long too because they're both so good. And we knew that about Kevin Owens, so it's not like mm-hmm. we needed a, a reminder of it, but Austin Theory, man. Like him and Waller put on hell of a match each individually. Like this was just a, a, a like a good reminder for people who maybe don't pay attention to Austin Theory that much that like no he's actually really good in the ring and that's the mm. problem that we have talked about before that a lot of the time people will take their personal opinion of them based on their character and kind of mm. write them off and say they suck they're this and that and it's because they don't like them so they don't pay attention to their in ring ability yeah <laughs> and exactly. so people are like theory sucks and it's like no like you might not like his character but he actually doesn't suck he's really good he's really good that standing spanish fly was unbelievable or springboard excuse me springboard spanish fly that he did was insane i just wish that they would do more with his character that's the main thing but i'm gonna complain about that basically until until they actually do it 